to another Horse Tales Emerald Valley Ranch. I almost got the name wrong. It's a very long name for this game, but I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. Now, as you saw in the title, I'm hosting a giveaway. Now, I'm giving away a PC Steam key for Horse Tales Emerald Valley Ranch. Now, to enter said giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below your favorite thing about horse games. Now, it can be literally anything. Go ahead and pizzazz me down in the comments below. And on the 2nd of December, I will randomly choose a winner to receive said Steam key. Now, I do have to really quickly say a massive thank you to Silphy? Silph? I'm not sure if I've got the company name correctly, but they are the PR team that have been working with Horse Tales Emerald Valley Ranch, and they have been absolutely wonderful. They gave me the Steam key to give away, so thank you so, so much. Marie specifically, she's been working with me, and she's absolutely wonderful. I also received their buzz kit the other day uh, down on my Instagram, so if you want to see unboxings and cool stuff that's happening over there, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, at Abigail Pinehaven. But here are some of the images from the buzz kit. It was awesome, and I have been forever using this water bottle as my favorite thing ever now. So that's great. Thank you ever so much to Sylphie for um, helping me out pretty much. So today we're going to be breeding. Now I have to state now I'm not going to be doing a playthrough because <laughs> I finished the game myself on my own. Well I say on my own, I actually technically like co-opt sort of in quotations with my friend Flickers. She also bought the game and we were on Discord call and we would screen share the game and we would sort of like help each other out and like share information as and when we got it. So I've actually finished the game. So I'm just going to be doing this breeding video because I haven't done much breeding. Now I did one test breeding earlier and I got really ugly horse which is quite upsetting but I'd also like to introduce you to Quazon. Now this is a French made game so I'm probably saying that completely wrong however this horse K it's probably Kazon, but I'm gonna call him Quazon because that's what I've been calling him. <laughs> um, because he is wonderful. He's like almost pure white and he looks like a freaking unicorn and I love that. He's very high statted as well so He's my favorite boy, but we're not going to be breeding with him today because he has very high stats and the high stat horses are expensive to breed. So, Davilia we're also not going to touch. Now that's actually an end game horse that I got from finishing the story and her stats are like incredible. So not breeding with her. Then we've got Macaroni and Amigo. Now I personally really like the look of Macaroni. I'm not a huge fan of Amigo's color, but we'll go with Macaroni for right now. Did a little loot. And then we'll select the mare, me, me, not mare, male. It says M, which made me think mare, but it's not. Right, so we can't do Guinness or Kazon because they uh, have really high stats. So we've just got YOLO, Acer, which is funny because the company that made this was Acer Interactive. No, it wasn't. That's a lie. Why am I saying that? I'm getting confused. <laughs> Never mind. And we've got Kotick and Alipio. Now, I do actually really like Alipio's coloring, so I think I'm going to go ahead and choose him. So it's going to cost me five apples and five peppermints, which I'm not looking forward to because grinding in this game, oh, oh the grinding in this game. My goodness. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and breed horses. Now, unfortunately, Oh yes, there is also a bug where your screen will go dark as soon as you breed. So to fix that, all you need to do is sleep. And anyway, in this game, to breed, you basically pick the two horses, you pay for it, then you sleep, and the next day, a quote-unquote foal will be in the little paddock. Now, I say quote-unquote foal because it's not actually a foal, it's a fully grown horse. Also, I keep building whatever this is here, and it keeps, like, breaking for some reason. So that's kind of annoying. I've not been liking that. Anyhow, I'm going to go straight into bed. And yes, I have a really cool outfit on as well. I love this outfit. I look very, very fancy pants. So I'm going to go ahead and rest. And tomorrow, our, our little our pony will be in the paddock tomorrow. So I'm excited to see what kind of colors there are. Because I don't think that I've actually witnessed them all. However, my friend Flickers did quite a bit of breeding. And she bred two Celle Francaise together, which are the type that Kazon is and uh, she got a, a draft horse which I thought was quite funny <gasps> that horse is adorable wait that's so cute <gasps> oh my god I love it it's so cute I'm such a sucker for paint horses if you can't tell by Sporkle yes she's a Pintavian and I just love her to pieces so I am a sucker for paint horses let's go ahead and inspect the foal so his name is Admiral and he is absolutely gorgeous he is a bombshell and i love him i will definitely be keeping him because if you didn't know i'm gonna go ahead and send home to stable if you didn't know you can actually sell horses in this game Kazon, on where are you going my dude you look absolutely fabulous in like the unicorn gear though Kazon is also particularly sweet because horses don't follow you in this game but there's an active trait where they will follow you and Kazon has that so he'll just like 
run after me and he's absolutely adorable. I love him so much. Right, so we've still got only Amigo and Macaroni, but I'm gonna try Amigo this time. Again, not a huge fan of that color, but that doesn't matter because we can spice it up a bit. Now I did, now as you can see, Guinness is a draft horse and the draft horses are really cute, but I, I maybe I can do a, a breeding with Guinness and see what we get. I do also like Kotick a lot. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick Kotick for a breeding. So this will only cost me five sugars, which is brilliant because the cheaper the better. So uh, once again, my screen has gone dark. That's just, that's just how you know it's worked, you know? So now I'm gonna go ahead and run straight inside to flop down on the bed as we all do, very hashtag relatable, and start a new day. At first I do a little, a little shuffle around and then I go lay down. Some time has passed. Great, so there is no day-night cycle, which makes it a bit like strange playing this game, especially after, oh, what was the, what was the bird doing at my mailbox? Get out of my mailbox, you weirdo. <gasps> oh, pretty baby. Oh my God, it's exactly like his dad or her dad, I don't know. Also, I forgot to mention, the horses have eyebrows. Yeah, the horses have eyebrows. It's giving a bit spirit riding free, but it's kind of cute, like I kind of dig it. Right, is this a, this is a um, male, so his name is Kenya and he is fabulous. He's so pretty. He looks exactly like his dad. And I know a lot of people in the comments will be saying this is a really boring looking bay, but I think bays are underrated. And if you think that they're underrated as well, let me know because uh, yes, they're all over the real world, but I think they're so pretty. Especially dark bays. I have a thing for dark bays. So I think I'm gonna uh, do macaroni again. This macaroni's gorgeous. And as for the um, dad, that was weird. Okay. Oh, Admiral's so pretty. Maybe we should do Admiral, even though technically Macaroni's Admiral's mum, but like nobody's keeping track, right? Can we inbreed? I think we can. Okay, so I don't have enough apples. I have to choose, oh, I have to choose parents that aren't related. Cool, I like that. That's a nice, that's a nice touch. So we're gonna go ahead and do Amigo instead, and then we can go ahead and breed these two. Oh, what's that on the floor? Was that always there? Yeah, I think so. Am I going crazy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Okay, that's fine. How many horse slots do I have actually? I think it said 22, but I'm not sure. We shall see. First, we have to rest and go see our new baby horsey. Horsey! Oh, can I set up multiple breeding pens? And that could work. <gasps> She's so cute! Please let this be a female because, oh my God, she looks exactly like a mum like exactly like her mum okay let's go ahead and inspect the fall okay aaron is a girl okay i think they didn't like choose names that were like particularly gendered but yeah aaron sure so i'm gonna go ahead and send her away and we oh it was 12 out of 22 okay no 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 no. this wasn't what i was meant to do i know i'm gonna go have a look at the horses that we've gotten so far go horsey go da 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 -na 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 -na. Hello. Right, swap horses. So, um, <laughs> it's gonna be, okay, I think these are all the horses we didn't, okay, so Admiral was bred, uh, Asa was also bred, and Aaron, and then we've got Macaroni and Lepo, so all of the rest that we had. Oh, Kenya was bred as well. So Kenya and Kotick are really similar, like, literally it's just down to markings. Wasn't it Amigo? No, Aaron and Macaroni, no. Aaron and Amigo are literally exactly the same apart from one sock right at the back, which is great. Um, I kind of now wish that I was doing, should we try and breed one of the cobs just to see like what happens when you mix a cob and a celly? I'm pretty sure it just will randomly like choose. Oh, where am I going? It'll just randomly choose a, a breed um, between the two. I don't think you'll actually get like a, a, a cross because I am pretty sure that's not in depth in this game. So let's go ahead and select the male. So we're gonna go with Guinness Then we'll try please don't let this be too expensive we could Try Aaron actually because Aaron and Amigo are almost exactly the same. All right, we'll try this so oh my god It's gonna cost me 31 peppers Peppermints I mean I've bred, it's too late now. Oh, I'm so gonna regret that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, to sleep we go. Oh gosh. I'll only do a couple more readings anyway. Wee! Let's go. 
Oh, it's 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 ginger. It's a ginger horse. It's oh my god, it's literally just exactly the same as the mum. Actually, wait, no, that's not true. That's a different shade of. Is it? Is that a different shade? I don't know. I do not know. Let's go ahead and put the foal. Annie, Annie's adorable. Let's go ahead and put her in the stable and we'll go compare her to her mum. Because if I'm not wrong, they looked similar, but they're not the same. Oh God. <laughs> Come on game, let me do my thing. Okay, we'll just go to this one because it's slightly close. Swap horse. So if we have a look at, it was Annie. So have her in your mind. Aaron. Oh yes, no, she's a lot she's a lot lighter. I much prefer that chestnut to like the violent, like blood red that Aaron is. Um I feel robbed though. I mean her stats are kind of okay, but uh I spent so much money on that. It's because Guinness is like quite good stats. Why did I do that? I was kind of hoping for a cob, not gonna lie. That's fine though. We'll live. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick maybe I'll pick Annie, because I like that code, and maybe we'll pick like a, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's pick a, maybe like a, oh, it would be cool if we could get that. Oh, we haven't used YOLO yet. YOLO's like a gray, so let's see what happens when you we use those two. I wish it didn't auto dismount me, that's kind of annoying. Oh my goodness, this is gonna use so much sugar. Maybe, actually, no, it's Annie that's gonna have been, ooh, okay, I'll switch that to macaroni. Yeah, I think I'll switch that to macaroni. So we've got macaroni and the grey horse that I can't remember the name of. I think it's YOLO, which is a strange name for a horse. But we'll see that. And then we'll do, I think, one more breeding. Just because my um, resource bank account is crying right now. And I don't feel like doing more grinding within the video. So we'll limit this to as, as, as few breedings as we can. Hello, let's go. I want to see the pony. Oh, it's cute. I think it's black i think is it oh kind of sort of oh it's like a i don't want to say the word grillo because i think it's too dark to be a grillo but can you see like the it's got like stripes around its leg and it's got a dorsal stripe as well which makes me think it's a grillo if i'm wrong please correct me in the comments but this horse is adorable that is really cute i actually really like ina is it ina or yina I don't think it's Yuna. I think it's Ina. Right, let's do one more breathing. Who are we gonna pick though? Who are we going to pick? How much, just out of curiosity, is it to breed like Davilia and like, I don't know, Kazon? Is it, it's completely out of my budget. How much? I need to give the horses their favorite. Okay, so I just, I just don't have enough stuff. That's fine. I didn't want that anyway, just in case I had bad stats. Okay, so what's a horse we haven't used? Oh, I love Admiral so much. I think I might use Admiral. And then, I don't know. We haven't got that many mares. Maybe Admiral is, I think Amigos. Um, um, so what, Macaroni? No, okay, so that's wrong. So we'll go ahead and do Amigo and, not Amigo whatever the other one was called. Uh, and Aaron, maybe? Yeah, okay. So, I can't remember the names. Doesn't matter, I'm breeding them. It was, it was, it was whatever the black and white paint was. But that's fine. So we'll go ahead and go inside the hoose and hopefully we'll have a pretty horse waiting for us tomorrow. Now, it's just occurred to me, I could set up like multiple breeding places but like, that's kind of annoying and a waste of resources. Oh, <gasps> cutie! Oh my goodness, it's it's the dad's pattern, but the mum's color. That's actually so cute. I wish it had facial markings. I'm kind of sad that it doesn't have facial markings, but it's still cute nevertheless. So let's have a look at the bowl. Altar, Altair, I can't read. Altair is adorable. Oh my God, I love that little white on the neck. That's adorable. So that's super cute. Now, unfortunately there is, where's my horse? Actually, that's a great question. I have to mount a horse? Oh no, I've lost my, I've lost my Quazon, my Quazon, my Quesadilla. Uh, I'll go get my horse really quickly. Running, 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 running. Ah, oh, there's my pretty boy. Right, so there is actually a lot that I haven't shown of this game. Um, <laughs> there's like a lot to this game, I won't lie to you. And I wish I had time to show you, but 
I'm not interested in doing a a video of like a playthrough that's just not really what I'm feeling for this game and the reviews on Steam are very mixed and I actually wrote a negative review on Steam which you can go have a look at um, I've linked it down below also I accept friend requests on Steam so if you'd like to add me on Steam feel free to do that I'm just Abigail Pinehaven as linked below um, but I'm sure there will be people with far more in-depth reviews actually Danielle casts which is uh, someone that I really look up to for the, her Red Dead content that she used to do uh, she She's done a review of this game which I'll also link below you guys can kind of have a, a sense of like what the game is actually like to be played because I feel like I haven't done a good job of kind of showcasing that and I, d I don't see myself kind of doing more content on this game for the future unless they bring out something that I'm really interested in but for the minute I think I'm good uh, but let me know down in the comments what you thought of this game what your general opinions are let's start a discussion keep it friendly though guys we're always keeping things friendly here so I hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!